Yo, guys, what's up? Welcome back. It's another weekend, another gig, another DJ. Well, actually, we're not DJing this weekend. This is gonna be a two-day event in Winston-Salem. It's a concert, it's a conference, 2,000 people, huge. I got my trailer loaded up. Aaron's already there with the sound system. It's, yeah, here we go. It's gonna be nuts. So, let me take a moment to tell you guys what exactly we are doing. This is the NASEA conference. It is a two-day conference, both Saturday and Sunday. It is also compiled of a concert, a fashion show, a singing competition, and a DJ both nights until one o'clock in the morning. And we are contracted to do both lighting and sound for the entire event. I will see you guys momentarily when I get through all of this traffic at the Benton Center in downtown Winston-Salem. Welcome, welcome to this um, very, very large hall. If you guys can't see all the gear over there, all the gear right here, all the gear over there, we got a lot of setup in store between me and Aaron. So I'm just gonna check in with you guys periodically. Just to, just to break it down to you guys, this is a 24 by 18 stage. You got uh, this runway, which was not part of the quote. So um, that's gonna make things interesting because we were considering just lighting up the stage and not a runway because if I wanna light the runway up, I need movers and stuff at the back of the hall to make up for that. So you got gear here, you got gear here. This is kind of mostly all of the front of house and cables and nonsense. So we got a lot of stuff to set up and I will check back in with you guys periodically. So things are coming along. Got six of the InnoSpot Pros up on 30, Feet of trussing. Got the V-Rex line to raise up. Looks like a lot's coming along, but it's nowhere near because uh, cabling takes forever. That's what we're gonna spend most of our time doing. Cabling, cables, cables, cables. Update time. Um, we've been doing a lot of cabling. So you got all the lights. All the lights are mounted on the truss. The VRXs are raised up. You can't see them, but there's three VRX 918s against the back wall on both sides. Now we've set up our front of house. Front of house is pretty dope. We got, I brought uh, an eight by eight little riser stage for us to be up on front of house. We're reusing the road cases for that. And we got a Midas M32. This is Aaron's pride and joy. Say hi, Aaron. Hey. And then you got where I'm just going to be using just a simple touchscreen laptop to control all the light because I'm basic. And Doug's probably watching this very ashamed of me for just being able to use that and not having like a nice little rack and stuff. But tough, Doug, tough. But yeah, it looks dope. The chairs are set up right now for like the opening conference segment of tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, in between when they all leave for dinner for like an hour and a half. They're gonna clear out most of these chairs to create like a dance floor on either side of the stage. We're gonna have a live band performing as well as a DJ. It's gonna go until one o'clock in the morning. We're gonna be really tired. We're gonna be hyped up on caffeine and we're gonna be rocking it out. So I'm going back to finish cabling up all the lights. I'm really close to finishing that and then I'm gonna power it up. And we have power. I'll go for all the equipment we're using at a later time. These are all ADJ InnoSpot Pros. Wash FX 2s and AJ Mega Hex bars. That is all of the lighting. So now to the back to set up my uh, front of house Chave Show Express rig and get the wireless DMX rolling and then we're set. We will be doing two additional movers like on the back of the stage somewhere at some point. I just uh, went through and set up in Show Express all my DMX addresses and I went through and put all the DMX addresses in. Now I'm going back to Chave Show Express back here on the laptop. The easiest to program. DMX solution out there. So if you guys are not watching the lighting series, you probably won't know all this, but I just went through and set up all of the movers. So this kind of emulates all the movers right here, all the different movers. These are my upper wash effects, these are my lower wash effects, and these are my two mega hex pars in either corner. Now I'm gonna go into steps and generator and create different movements. So enjoy the light show as I do that. Party and party. What's up? Welcome to the hotel room. Yes, this is a multi-day event. We are in downtown Winston-Salem. Um, the Benton Center is actually right down there. Um, you go through a tunnel and then you get over to the Marriott. You can go to either hotel right here. I'm gonna hit the hay because I don't even know what time it is, but I know it's late. Oh, it's only 12.30. It's 12.30, we're gonna be meeting for uh, breakfast in the morning, me and Aaron, and then we're going to 
go finish all of these setup that we have to do. Not much to do. Day one, sorry I didn't film much. Uh, I got lighting programming to do in the morning. We're behind, but we're not behind. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Just got back from breakfast, and we are now heading over to the Benton Center to finish that up and get this day on the road. Events over there do not start until 12.30. It's currently 8 o'clock in the morning. This evening will be the concert as well as the DJ until 1 o'clock in the morning. So it's going to be a late one. We're back. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do stuff. And we have officially tied in our power this morning. So uh, we got engineering over here, and we tied into their 50 amp uh, 220 breaker. Right here is just the 100 foot um, cable going around the corner. Comes into Aaron's power distro here, which is just awesome. You got all the current reads on the X, all the current reads on the Y, current readouts on each individual 20 amp breaker. It's awesome. All right guys, so a lot of time has passed. I've just been uh, back here programming lights as well as helping Aaron occasionally. Um, Aaron has been setting up monitors and going through and ringing out all of the different mics that we're gonna be using. Again, we'll go through a complete equipment walkthrough here. Probably not now, not today. We'll probably do it um, either later today or tomorrow just because we're kind of getting everything set up and tomorrow morning we'll have everything set up and ready to go for tomorrow. I'll definitely walk you guys through a little bit of what the stage sounds gonna be like. Um, and let Aaron chat a little bit about it and explain to you everything we're doing. But uh, if anything cool or awesome happens or cool lighting, I'll let you know. I'll fill you in. But for the most part, we're doing uh, speaking and all kinds of things for the next four hours. So, yeah, house lights are on. I got most of my programming done. I'll do a little bit more for the, the show later on. But as far as that, Aaron, we're good to go. Motorized faders, guys. So much fun. <laughs> um, this guy's doing his like sound check. We're running virtual DJ actually off of my laptop over here. So this is what's aux sending the music into here for everything that we're doing. And then I'm also running Show Express right here with all my live scenes all on here. So that's it. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of back end world. This is a huge facility, guys. So I kinda wanna show you guys a little bit of the back end stuff because it's, I mean, it's boring right now. Inside this cabinet's where we do the lighting. We're hooked into the power uh, foldage up there. But yeah, this is a standard giant back end of a banquet hall. This is kinda where the band is staging all of their amps and stuff for later on, the drums and stuff like that. Then all of our stuff is also staged here. All of our mic attachments for all of our mics later on. Uh, this is Aaron's work box. I'm super jealous. It's got all kinds of stuff inside of this. All my stuff's back there, all ugly and just bags and not road cases. Shout out the Pro X for not have any road cases at Expo that I wanted to buy. They're on order though. I'll, I'll be getting my road cases. So yeah, this is back end world. Either later here when we're doing the sound check for the band or tomorrow, I'll walk you guys through all of the equipment. But right now it's just conferences. Also a good point to also point out, if you guys were looking at the lighting that we did, there is like a runway that's completely barren and not lit up at all. That was not in the original quote. The original quote when we talked to these, it was just gonna be the 24 by 18 stage. There was gonna be no runway. And all we would have to do is set up the trussing in the semi front of the stage and actually light the stage up itself, which is what we're doing. When we came here and we saw that there was a runway, we are like, this was not in the agreement. Even though I have stuff, I could do it. I could run back to Greensboro and do it. Um, they said it was fine, so. Anyways, looking forward to doing a sound check with the band and getting the DJ going and actually playing some dope music. We actually got singing coming up, which is gonna be interesting and it's gonna be fun, so. It's not gonna be in English, but it's gonna be fun, awesome, and all that cool stuff. It's also freezing cold in here.
footage of the fight. Well, more like a scuffle. No one actually punched anybody. Saturday night ended in a fight, sort of. No harm, no foul, nothing got broken, everything's fine. Uh, and police escorted him out, so that's that. Anyways, Saturday night, all done. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow when we'll actually go through all of the equipment because we haven't game gone through it. Although we did just set up like a ton of stuff for the band and we already tore it down, so. But I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. Heading back down to the convention center. It starts at 1 o'clock today in the main ballroom. They got convention side things going on right now. So heading down to get everything set up for that. Me and Aaron pulled a 19-hour day yesterday. And it's going to be pretty long on the day. Day 2 of the convention. Day 3 of us working. And tomorrow will be teardown day. So stay tuned. What is up, guys? We're going to go through a complete equipment walkthrough. Maybe not necessarily detailed on cabling, but we're going to go for a complete equipment walkthrough. And to keep things simple, we're going to start with the big items, and then we'll go into, like, the stage left racks and the front of house unit and all that. So let's start with the stage itself. First off, the stage has completely changed from uh, yesterday. They added another segment to make it more of a giant square and less of a runway. So let's start off with lighting up top here. We have six ADJ InnoSpot Pro movers and we have four Chave Wash FX 2s. Two of them washing the room, two of them washing the stage. Then we have two ADJ Mega Hex Pars doing some truss warming across the lighting. Overall we have 30 feet of global truss up there, a combination of two meter and two and a half meter segments, a top of Duratruss 3900 crank stands. And uh, that's literally all the lighting we're running. Now let's talk about the juicy stuff and that is our sound. So let's start with the main PA and then we'll get into the monitors and all the microphones and stuff we're using. The main PA is ran by two JBL VRX 932 LPs per side atop of Duratrust 4000 crank stands. Subwise we are rocking six three per side of the JBL VRX 918 SPs. Two of them are Aaron's on each side and the ugly like kind of beat the hell and back ones. The non new ones are mine. So we got my two here as well as two additional per side making six subs in total plenty of bass. Also on a sub pole we have my JBL PRX 712s doing side fills. As we come up on stage here you'll notice that I am lit up by the Wash FX 2s. We are rocking monitor wedges. We have a total of four EV ZLX 12P monitor wedges up on stage in uh, different configurations. Last night was a different configuration for this and today there's a different configuration for this square. So we've been moving the monitor wedges around the stage completely. But we'll note while we're up here we have a bunch of snakes. We actually have three in total. Uh, one is up here right now. The other two we were using last night for the band and uh, we don't have the band anymore so they're taking it down. Also got power running along the back of the stage as well. So that's kind of the uh, bigger stuff. We're top of a 24 by 24 stage. Now we can talk about the fun stuff, which is right here. So this is probably looking very overwhelming to you guys. So let me break it down for you guys as simple as possible. First off, this is Aaron's distro box. So basically we are tapped into a 50 amp 220 breaker. We have eight individual 20 amp breakers here that we're using. These are the meters for phase X and phase Y coming into the unit. So you can see that we have 117 volt energy of 28. Down here we have our eight individual 20 amp breakers and we are, have uh, digital readouts telling us how much energy we're pulling. These are basically pulling nothing right now, but if we look at the lighting down there, it is fully on and pulling 11.7 amps. So the lighting all the way up there is pulling 11.7 amps. Very handy to be able to come over here mid gig and see brightly how much each one of these circuits is pulling. All of our power is labeled, so these are the subs left and right. Coming over to this madness here, this looks like a lot, but it's actually not that complicated. So up top, you have a Furman power conditioner that is powering all this. This is the power into the power conditioner right here. It plugs in and uh, it's set up so that all the ports for the whole entire rack here are on the front, which is very handy. Below the Furman power strip, we have the drive rack DBX drive rack venue 360 and then down below that you have a variety of ports all these ports are basically so that they're not on the back of the unit so the ports for 
the drive rack have been rerouted to the front the ports for the soundcraft ui16 all of them have been routed to the front so that there's no ports on the back so in terms of our inputs and outputs here we'll see a lot of this back in front of house in the midas m32 rack but the midas m32 rack is sending us a in one in two this is our left and right and this is our mono send to our subs we have our outputs so you have them uh aaron went through and labeled them so we have our mains left right our subs and our side fills left and right right here these are actually actually our data sends so we're running completely off ethernet from the front of house to here so we have our asea and over here we have our net and then this right here is to the wireless router which is actually mounted up here so that allows us to have complete control over all audio via an ipad walking around the room we can control both the midas m32 rack and we can control the uh, venue 360 from basically anywhere in the room it's very handy we do have a soundcraft ui16 here but we are not using it aaron kind of has this build out that he can for smaller events use the soundcraft ui16 if he wants or if he wants to go bigger and use the ethernet to link to his midas 32 rack that you'll see in the back he can use the midas 32 rack rack uh, patch panel down here so this is all 32 inputs and all of the outputs all 16 outputs on the bottom here so you got two rows of inputs one row of outputs and this is linked via ethernet to the front of house m32 rack so these are all the inputs and outputs on the back of the m32 rack um, right here and all we have to do is run one ethernet cable to front of house for that so i hope that made that seem a little bit simpler than what it looks like. Then up here on the right, we have my dedicated uh, wireless mic unit. So you have my Furman power strip, you have the two wireless mic units, and then you have the shelf with more batteries, lapels, and the two wireless mics are actually up here along with tons of white and black gaff tape. This is our microphone case with all of our SM58s, our Shure SM58s for our vocals, and our Shure SM57s for our instruments along with our instrument mics and our vocal mics of course for a band you need a drum kit this is aaron's drum kit mic set so this has all the mics to do a drum kit set and then we got some milk crates full of individual xlrs of different varieties and sizes and right here is our 220 uh, power that's coming off of the distro this plugs into a 100 foot extension we've wound it in a figure eight for current draw reason and if you follow it around the corner it comes around here and it patches into their 220 breaker inside of this this craziness right there it's pigtailed in so here is our lead to front of house we're running power and two ethernets to transfer all of the data so that that's the beauty of running ethernet data you don't have to have a giant mic snake of any sort to run all the way back to front of house. I will note there is a donor wireless DMX receiver. I'm running all DMX wirelessly. I could have hardwired it, but I decided to get wireless instead. Here is front of house. We have my staging right here. We got four 4x4 four four decks to get us a front of house stage presence using the ADJ Spot Pro case for stands over here, the two VRX 932 rack, top off the Midas 32, and we got one of the subs to make another table. Midas M32 console, lots of buttons, lots of faders. I know what 10% of this does, just about iPad, phone, headphones, talkback mic. I know what this stuff does though. So we've got a simple power strip, shop show express box, wireless donor, DMX, my 13 inch laptop, both running virtual DJ for house music out of the aux into the M32. And of course we got show express loaded up to control all of our colors, our fades, our wash on the stage, our movements of the movers, the colors of the movements, chases, all sorts of stuff that I was programming yesterday and we're using now. And uh, I believe that's all for the setup and the equipment and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So yeah, we're gonna rock out today. If anything interesting happens, I will let you guys know. Tip for you guys, even though they tell you food is provided, don't always count on it being food you want to eat. So they provided this like Indian food that like the spices and the, it, it, I'm not picky, but like I, I just didn't like it. That's why I brought barbecue chicken and tater tot meals. Remember what I said about I didn't like their Indian food? Yeah, not a fan. A fan, big fan. Big fan. Right now, Aaron's getting this uh, guitarist hooked up with a DI box into his guitar, into our soundboard, and making sure he sounds good in mics. I mean, no.
There's not much to update you guys on. Nothing's really happened. We had some acts. They just look. Not much has happened. <laughs> It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. 11.46, which means I'm gonna get an hour and 15 more minutes of sleep. That's it, Aaron's kicking on the house lights and I'm gonna roll in some road cases and we're gonna start breaking down. We might end up just breaking it all down the night cause I'm, I'm wide awake. That'll make our lives a lot easier in the morning. We just, all we gotta do is load up our gear and get out of here. First stage is to break down front of house. I will try and time lapse for you guys. That way you, you guys actually get to see something this time. Two hours later, and it's all broke down. Just me and Aaron, two hours. All that broke down in cases. If anyone was wondering how much gear was Aaron and how much was mine, this is mine, Th this is Aaron's. Easily a third more in terms of size. Stage, truss, lights, side fills, more subs, subs, row cases, row cases, row cases, row cases, row cases, row cases, row cases. There you go. Aaron, thoughts, thoughts. Amazing success. Here. Happy customers, they threw us some curveballs and we rolled with it and knocked out of the park. We're gonna go back to the hotel, go to sleep. I will maybe see you guys tomorrow. If not, keep the market spinning. Peace. I don't know what else to say. Done.